weird and wonderful. So we choose a weird and wonderful or weird or wonderful story <laughs> that might have been in the news over the past week. Well, that's my all day, every day. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, anyway, this one is going to be me. This is the title. OK. Uh, Dog or monster. OK. Horrifying snap leaves Twitter users questioning their eyesight. Oh, are. so it's, so it's a photo. Basically, it's a photo. Because I, I imagine when you said snap, I imagine something a, a bite. No, like no, it's, snapping it's not a crocodile. No, okay. no. So this is a photograph. <laughs> Crocodog. Uh, so you'll have to like pop it up on the uh, pop it up for people to see. Anyway, so uh, a person called Sala Kuka thirty three took an action shot of the moment her Afghan hound baboon jumped in and out of a river. <laughs> yeah. There's an Afghan hound yes. called Baboon. Called Baboon. Okay. <laughs> An action shot of a dog jumping in the water has been compared to Edward Scissorpaws and called haunting by Twitter users. The moment was captured by photographer Salah Kuka, 33, when her Afghan hound Baboon jumped in and out of a river. Uh, but the picture came out slightly different than planned, with the pooch's upright stance on hind legs and dripping hair from the river, leaving viewers spooked. So, so this is the picture of the dog. Yes. Okay. Yes, and it would seem that uh, it basically people this this picture has been circulating. The reason I bring it up, I, ideal for having Glenn in the studio, is because people were thinking it's some kind of dogman creature. Oh, okay. 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 So, there we go. I'm showing Zach the picture. Oh, wow. That kind of, it's kind of like an Elvis kind of hairstyle, <laughs> but it's the ears. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's incredible. So there's got this Afghan hound, which is wet, <laughs> standing on its hind legs. Its ears have gone up in the air. Yeah, that's per perfect timing. Perfect timing. Perfect timing, that photo. Uh, and so when people were seeing it, they thought it was some kind of dogman creature. But but no, the proof is in the pudding. It's actually just a it's dog. A, actually it just does a... go to show what I've mentioned in the past. That is, um, there's a lot of things out there which can be explained yes. quite simply. I mean, don't get me wrong. I believe there's stuff out there. But... Um, yeah, if I saw that walking through the woods, uh, yeah. I, I would be... I, I'd go the other way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, so that was quite a free, freaky one. So uh, it would seem that this photograph sort of kind of hit Twitter and social media and people go, my goodness, what is this horrifying thing? Well, that's the thing with uh, the pictures and, and things like that nowadays. They just explode and all yeah. the speculation just goes all up in the air. Have you seen the photo of the German shepherd with the pine cone in its mouth? Oh, yes, I actually posted I that up I myself. That. Yeah, again, it's... And it's it looks, when you look at it, it looks like it's got like four sets of teeth. Mm. It's like, oh, unnerving. Crikey, yeah. that's really. And then you look, you look a bit longer, and you realise actually it's just a dog with a pine cone. <laughs> yeah, his mouth. I think I'm. Mm. I may have seen that. I may have yeah. seen that. So, so there you go. That's the one, weird and wonderful. Probably more weird, wonderful. I don't know. But that's Somewhere the, the story this week <laughs> because I, I'm desperately scouring the. the the depths of honestly, shock, this is Shocktober. Things should be I know, scary. I, know. I thought it'd be easy. I, I, to be honest with you, I've got to be honest with you. It was I, I've obviously gone with this particular dog. What do you call him? Edward Scissorpaws or whatever. Edward <laughs> I went with that story, but my second choice was when I read it. It said that a university, I think it's Exeter University. Uh, don't quote me on that. Uh, is going to be doing an MA course, degree course in witchcraft. You Ooh. see, now that caught my attention because obviously being Shocktober, yeah. I thought, ah, excellent. What a what a fantastic story. So I read into it, I read it and it's basically, you know, it's just being, it's just a, you take the course, it's, it's, it's about the history of witchcraft across the world oh, okay. uh, and, and, and actually has nothing to do with actually practicing, practicing witchcraft. <laughs> oh, there's no practice. And it really, it really oh, spoiled on. it for me. You know, I thought, yeah, they can actually start looking at the spell casting. And so you're not being right. taught by the, the professor of dark arts then? No, unfortunately not. Snape. So uh, I, was a bit, I was a bit disappointed. Severus Snape. Dumbledore. <laughs> That's it. <laughs>